So Mario Party Superstars has come out for everybody, and I wanted to take this chance, like the first day that it's out, to kind of go over everything that's in the game. So if you're looking for something, but you don't know where it is, or you're still maybe like on the fence a little bit of whether you want to buy the game or not, well, this video will be for hopefully you. So we're gonna be going through everything that I could have possibly found. Uh, if there's something missing, I it probably is something that I haven't unlocked yet, or it's something that I'm just completely oblivious to. So we're first gonna start off with some of like the smaller things. Everything is going to be uh, like tagged in like the uh, video like itself. So if you wanna see anything specific, you can just skip to that part. But we're going to start with the Toad Shop because I think it's like the easiest one to explain and the shortest one to explain. Uh, so here, it's just buying some stuff. You have stickers that you can use in the game. Uh, you get more as you progress that you can buy. You have card designs that you can get when playing the boards. Um, I'm sure you can get it from other things as well. But again, I've only gotten so far. Uh, then we have the encyclopedias for like all of the characters ever. Then you have ones for the specific games. You have one for like specific things themselves. Um, for some mini games it's looking like. And I don't know what was at the end there. But I know there's also ones for like boards as well. So you have a lot of different encyclopedias that you can get. And then a bunch of different music that you can get for the boards, the games, and all that. So that's really all it is for the uh, Toad Shop. There is no unlockable characters. There is no unlockable boards. Uh, that has basically been confirmed at this point. So what you have is what you got for now, at least. So yeah, that was like the easiest one to talk about. Uh, next thing that I want to talk about is probably like the next quickest one, which be the, uh, if I can get to it, the option house. In the option house, there are a few different things. Uh, you can make it to where you have these stickers uh, on or off. You can show your collection of stickers that you have. I currently don't have a lot because I haven't bought any yet, but I have all the uh, normal ones. Yes, we even have the uh, suggestive one, uh, but uh, you can display them or hide them if you want them in the game or not. So for me personally, I'm going to hide it for now until I start playing with people. When I play with people, I'll turn it back on. But when I'm playing with computers, I'll leave it off. So that's just me. Uh, you can delete everything if you really feel like it. You can adjust the background music for the boards. So if you want the modern ones, that's fine. For me, I have played Peach's Birthday Cake uh, the most recently, so I can have like this or I can bring it back to the classics, which is nice. You just have to play the board one time first and then you'll unlock the classic song for each of the boards. So let's put it back to modern for now. You can change the tech speed for fast, me uh, medium, wow, fast, normal, or slow. And then you have the movement speed. You can do normal or fast. I do it normal because I enjoy looking at the computer's turns and trying to figure out their strategies. And that's it. <laughs> that's all there is in Option House. Next up, we're going to be going to the Data House. In the Data House, there's a decent amount of things here, honestly. Uh, you have him who you can just kind of talk to, and that's really it. He doesn't do much. He just says, hey, how about doing this, doing that? We'll come over here, and here's where you can look at all of your music that you've bought. Yeah, you can look at them, you can favorite them, you can do all of that. You have the game records, which are the new records uh, that you have for the games that are specifically meant for records. Uh, as you can see, I am currently 18th in the world uh, in Poke Pummel. Uh, that's probably because a lot of people haven't uh, uh, went online with it, but I'm currently 18th. <laughs> I'm going to wear that as like a badge of honor and a, just I'm taking that home with me because I, I haven't played like any of these others. So, <laughs> so I mean, I can't really say anything for those yet. Uh, you have the win percentages of the mini games themselves. So you'll be able to see like which mini games you've won the most, highest or lowest. You have the Mount mini game records that you have for survival, sports and puzzles, tag, daily challenge and all that. The trio challenge, the coin battle. Uh, you have all of those right here. And then the photos that you get for each of the boards, I kind of just spoiled how the board went, even though this video is coming out after that board, uh, but, oh well. Down here we have the encyclopedias. I have none because I haven't bought any, but here's where all the encyclopedias would be. And then your Mario Party card is the first thing that you'll do basically when you come in here. Um, these are my things. My favorite game is Mario Party 6. As of right now, my favorite board is Horrorland. I have to play Horrorland to determine that. 
because of the lucky spaces, I am a little cautious about that, so we will figure that out. And then those are my four favorite mini games. I wanted to get like one of each kind of things. I got like a four player, a two v two, a duel. I want to get a one v three, but I just like uh, I just like facelift too much to not have it in there. If you press X, you'll be able to see the favorites of everything, so long as you're online. As you can see, Mario Party 3, 2, and 1 are the top three, with 8 next, 5, 4, 6, 10, 9, and 7. I am shocked. I would have figured 9 would be above 10. That's my. Sh that's the most shocking thing for me, because I feel like whenever I see people talk about Mario Party 9 and 10, like the mass majority of people are like, yeah, no, 9 is so much better than 10, which I would agree with. 10 does feel a little bland compared to 9, but I'm shocked on that. You see the favorite boards of everybody. I'm sh I think I'm shocked that Woody Woods is the least favorite. I thought Peaches would have been the least favorite, but again, I don't I, I don't know a lot, but it doesn't shock me that Mario Party 2's boards are the top two because Nintendo loved to shove Mario Party 2 down our throat, so that makes sense. And then the favorite mini games. Again, you're gonna see like the ones that you would expect the top, you know, Mushroom Mix, some Face of Book Squirm, Shy Guy Says, Crazy Cutters, Bowser's Big Blast, Hot Rope Jump, Aids of Pizza. You should not be here. Just saying, but that's my personal opinion. And then you can see the ones at the very bottom, which currently are like are all the coin mini games. Sandwich, uh, Quicksand Cash, Puddle Paddle, Cash Pull, Coconut Conk. Uh, that's not even a coin mini game, but uh, Parasol Plummet, Winner, Dinner, Hammer Drop, Mess. Mass media. That's, that's my favorite coin mini game. Well, all the coin mini games. Uh, then you have like Skewer Scary, which yeah, I would agree. Uh, Winner Dinner or Sky Pie. I'm shocked Sky Pie is that low, but I mean, I guess it makes kind of sense. Not that's not like people's like first like oh yeah, I love that one. Mass meteor, I can understand. Uh, picking panics that low. Oh, I thought about that for a two v two that I would put in for my favorites. Uh, what else do we got down here? Arch Rival, I can understand. Really? Rapid River Race? That, that upsets me. Trapeze Artist, I get. I need to see where the f- Okay, I thought that was Dungeon Duos. I was gonna- I was gonna blow my socket. It better be in like the top like 20 or 25. It is up here, right? Pokey Pummel. There it is. Okay, top 12. I'll take that. I'll take that. But yeah, that's that's basically what you can do here. And then back here with this is the achievements that you can that you've gotten throughout the entire thing. Um, I currently have ones like get five or more stars, get three or more stars, find a coin and hidden block, get more like a bunch of coins, uh, roll doubles, uh, miss a star due to lack of coins, which I that's a great achievement to have. Get two stars in a turn, and then you have online ones. Uh, which I've gotten because of the Pokey Pummel, where it's the 50th place or higher, uh, 10,000th place or higher, or 1,000th place or higher. I haven't done any of these uh, other stuff or not many games or anything, so I haven't gotten anything else. But yeah, that's everything here. Uh, I'm going to kind of skip forward a little bit, and we're going to move on to Mount Mini Games. All right, so we're at Mount Mini Games. Uh, we have seven different things here, and I have not played them all, so forgive me if I do get like the tiny things wrong with them. I had thought when you looked at some of the artwork for Mount Mini Games, like when it's in the background, like my thought was like the dark side of Mount Mini Games, because it looked like there was like a part of it where it was like, you know, dark, volcano-y, just I thought that might have been where you found like the solo player thing here, which I would have loved, but it does not look like there is any kind of solo player thing, which sucks, but in the grand scheme of things, if you were to tell me that I would have that over maybe something along the lines of the survival mode here or just being able to play with people online. I will take the online stuff all day, every day, but that's just me. So first of all, on the left side, we have these sports and puzzles where you can play all the sports and puzzles games that are not included on the boards. Some of them are, but not all of them. You have survival mode where it's you keep playing until you lose. Uh, that's very simple and easy to understand. You just keep playing until you lose. I do want to do a lot of stuff with that in the future. The daily challenge, you have a bunch of different mini games um, to do, like in a different packs. So that's what it says, like in the before with the uh, when we were at the data place. You can see the three different packs there. The coin battle, which is just get as many coins as you can. Whoever gets the most wins. Free play, which is you play any game that you want. You can do it with any computer. I, I don't know if you can play free play with people. 
You probably can, I would assume so. Tag match 2v2s, and then trio challenge, which is 1v3s. So yeah, that's all that's really here. Uh, while we're here though, I will talk about the Mario Party level thing that's here. It shows your card, it shows your experience, your coins, your this, your that, the time played. It shows all that stuff. Um, I think I saw you could get to level 99, but again, all it really unlocks is like cards and stamps and stickers and all that stuff. That's all it really unlocks for you. All right, so now we're gonna go to the two main things that are probably the biggest ones that I wanna talk about. We're going to start with the online and then we'll go to the boards afterwards. All right, so because I am online, it allows me to go to the friend house. If you're not online, you cannot go to it. And since we are here, like I said, if you look at the minigame mountain in the background, you see that dark side of the minigame mountain, which the lava, the dark, I thought that would have been single player. That's what I was talking about. Anyway, going to the friend house, I selected it to where I could play with friends. So that is what you are currently seeing. After this, I will show what it looks like. It may look completely the same or different. I don't know. I've only seen this. But when you are here, if you want, which is this is a, this is a nice thing that I'm so happy that they did. If you create a room, you can do friends only or you can open up to anybody. Now, the nice thing about that, if you have a friend that you want to play with, but you also want to play with other random people online, say you're streaming, you can play with your friend and the people that you're streaming with, you just set a passcode, you tell your friend the passcode, and then the next two people can come in and play with you as well. So I love this. Yes, all of this. Thank you. Now this is just playing with friends. I'm gonna quickly now go back and see what it looks like um, without friends. So I'll be right back. Okay, I was lying. I, I should probably talk about the join room too. You can also join room, you can join friend. If a room is set up by your friend, I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, none of them are found because none of my friends are really doing this. And then you can search by the ID where you can probably type in the code. So now I will go back and do that. All right, so I did go back with the online play, but without friends. Like here, I'll show you just quickly. Online play, global play with random people online. It's not, nothing is different in there. So we're going to go to the boards now and I'm gonna see if maybe something is different in there. I'm, I'm, we're gonna take a quick look see at that So Nothing is different there. I get it because it's a friend's house technically which makes sense So we're gonna go into Mario Party. I'm gonna check here because there are things I don't want to talk about here But I do want to see the whole like online thing if the online thing is different or Or you could just go straight to friend house from here. That's interesting Mario, yeah. Mario yep, okay so, if you want to do with random people, you get to select all uh, the rules that you want to play with. And then you get to select the board. And then you just kind of probably have to hope that you find people to play with. It'll probably set you up with a bunch of random different people. Okay, good. I had to make sure that I knew that because I was like, how do you play with random people if it doesn't allow you to do the other thing with the friend's house? And da 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 da. So. Before we move on to the things here, uh, what I wanted to talk about, because I will have to go offline to show all the different things. When it comes to online play, if you are playing with friends, I saw this in the game explain thing, and it's a good thing that I saw that because I, I was curious. So if you haven't seen it, now nah, you'll be able to hear it. Um, if you're playing with friends and somebody disconnects, the nice thing is if they disconnect, they will automatically be put in with a computer. I cannot tell you if that's the exact same here. I have not tried it, but it would be replaced with a computer. And if you were playing with friends, if that person wants to come back into the game, they can. The only thing is they will not be allowed to join until an, a brand new turn has started. So if they leave turn five because internet issues, come back in the middle of turn six, they won't pro they, they won't join until turn seven, which I think is fine. I would rather them be able to do that than nothing at all. You know, I'd rather not just be like, well, we can't do this now. Let's just exit out of it. Um, also, another thing that uh, happens is the thing saves every turn. So at the beginning of every turn, you can like exit and then come right back to it. 
So that's also a very nice thing. Now we're going to talk about the boards and all the things that go with it. So I will be back in just a second. All right, we are back. Hello, Koopa. I do know how to play. So this is the character roster. It is only these 10. Now, I understand that people are upset because Super Mario Party had 20 characters. You're not getting 20 characters. I'm going to be very blunt about that. You are probably almost never going to get that again. The reason that you're not getting it for this one specifically is because all of those characters are in the game in some other aspect. Toad and Toadette are the hosts. Koopa Troopa is a host. Boo steals coins and stars. Bowser is in Bowser spaces and has his Bowser events in the Mario Party 1 boards. You have Bowser Jr. who is in mini games. You have bloopers in mini games. Uh, Hammer Bro is in mini games. Monty Mole is in, I think, a mini game or two. And he's also in Woody Woods. Um, I know there's more, but that's the first ones that come to my mind. The only two characters that I could see being possible as DLC that have been in the game before would be Diddy Kong and Dry Bones. They're not, I don't, this game you will not be seeing probably like Pauline. You won't see, uh, I've seen some people say other random characters in the Mario universe that have never been in a Mario party. I've even seen, I think somebody say like Kirby, Samus, I don't fucking know, but those are not coming. I'm, I'm trying to be as blunt as I can with this because I know there are people who are going to be upset about it and I get it, but a character roster should not determine whether or not you play a game, especially one like this. Now, if you picked up Smash Brothers and you only had like five characters, yes, I can understand that because that's about the characters. Mario Party, except for... Uh, Super Mario Party and Star Rush have never been about the characters. The characters are just the same things that you can, same different skins that you can use to play the board game and mini games. So I just wanted to get that off my chest. Anyway, these are the 10 characters that you get. Uh, we're just gonna quickly uh, go through it. Um, the nice thing is it saves the characters that you use for the last one. So if you use four different characters and you want to use them again, it, those will be the first four characters that your thing will go to. Uh, from here, you can also shuffle them if you feel like it. But we'll just keep going. Funny enough, I got the three girls too. The three princesses. Uh, there are four difficulties from the start, which are, I'm assuming, the four difficulties that you'll have in the entire game. You have easy, normal, hard, and master. Going here, you have the five boards and the difficulties. The least difficult is Yoshi. Next to Space, Peaches, Woody Woods, and Horrorland. I heard somebody say that the difficulty could correspond to how like helpful the hidden blocks are. I cannot confirm that. Um, I have not played the game enough to tell you if that's true or not. But I'm just going to do this because it's the one I played. Here you could choose the amount of turns, uh, 10, 15, 20, 25, or 30. If you choose 30 turns, you will not be able to add turns to the game. 30 is the absolute max amount of turns that you can have in a game. If you choose any of the others, you can do the add turns functionality in the game itself, but I heard it is only once. So make sure that you pretty much choose the amount of turns that you want from the get go. So you have that. Now, bonus stars. Bonus stars, if you put it on on, it will be a random assortment of bonus stars. Um, I think it's two if you're playing normally. Um, maybe if you do a 30 turn, tur 30 turn game, then it gives you uh, three stars. But I've seen some people do two t uh, 20 turns, uh, 15 turns, 10 turns, and it's only giving them two. So that could be something that's locked behind a 30 turn game, like how it was in Super Mario Party. You have off, which removes them completely. And then you have the classic uh, Mario Party bonus stars. Now, I am telling you this because I figured it out for myself. If you do the classic, it is not what you remember. Okay, so eventful, ev the eventful bonus, exact same. 
Coin bonus and mini games are different. Mini game is not the amount of coins you won in mini games. Mini game is now the amount of mini games you have won. So you could win, theoretically, uh, you could win eight mini games, and then somebody else wins nine mini games. But let's say you won 150 coins, whereas they won 120 coins. They will get the star. So just be wary on that. And then the coin star is not about who has the most coins at any point in time. It is now about the amount of coins you collected in the game itself. So just giving you the heads up on that because I thought it was going to be the exact same and it wasn't. Next up, we have the uh, mini game help. You can choose to have it on or off, whether you want to see the instructions or not. Uh, for the most part, when I'm doing my series that I'm doing now, I'm going to be doing it off because, you know, that's just more fun for me. Uh, handicaps, you can choose like who has stars and stuff. You can go up to five for any person. But I play it off because that's just the most fair way to do it. And then you get to choose whether or not you have specific mini games in action. All types, only the family ones, action ones, skill ones, GameCube or GameCube slash Wii, I'm going to assume that it's going to be four through 10 because one through three has like 60 of them. So you can do like these 60 or these like 40. And I did see somebody say that you could do favorites. Um, I have not seen that. Maybe again, it's something that you unlock down the road. Uh, I cannot tell you right now, but I did want to get this video out because I know there are people who are probably still optimistic or cautious about this game because of Super Mario Party. And to those who are cautious about it, I just want to tell you that based on what I have seen, based on what I have currently played and everything that I've heard of, this is the better Mario Party. No matter what GameSpot says, okay? I don't care what GameSpot says because his children want to waggle a controller. If you like those, though, that's fine. I, you can like those. But this is meant to go back to the beginning. And it does. It does exactly what it says it's going to do. The only thing that you'll have to worry about is potentially the plethora of lucky spaces in a given board. And through the first board, it really didn't change too much. When all is said and done, you can get the most lucky spaces and still lose. So I hope this video is helpful for those who are maybe still curious about the game and you wanted to see everything that was in it before getting it so you have an idea of what you're looking at so i hope this video helped you out and with all that said if you have any more questions down in the comments below leave them for me i will answer as many as i can so long as i have done the things that you ask but with all that being said thank you for watching i hope you all enjoyed and i hope to see you all in the next one